Today we're going to show you the Quaco special fountain pen. I have it here in the box against a normal, oops, can't get it out, uh, against a normal um, classic all sport fountain pen just so you can kind of see a size relationship here. It's obviously a lot thinner and the all sport um, is different in a couple of ways. But the special, if you want to take a look at it, it's real thin, kind of like a um, mechanical pencil made in the 30s. And there is, when you uncap it, you can actually post it on the back with some threads here. But once you do that, let me, sorry, just going to get that lined up. Once you get it posted, you can see how long it is. Um, it's just not comfortable to write with. The fulcrum on that balance is more toward the end of the pen, which makes it want to pull away from the page as you write. Not the most comfortable setup. Also weird that when a pen over $100, they didn't line up the octagonal um, cuts here when they threaded it. It's just off a little bit. Um, There's a little detail that would have been nice. Another thing I don't like about this pen is the super short section threads. Let me show you against the classic sport. You can see if I line up the section threads how much shorter the um, the the special is against the classic sport. There's just not a lot of room for your fingers. Like if I go to hold it, I'm definitely resting right on these sort of sharp section threads. Not the best feeling. Like I said, you don't want to post it to write because it just becomes really cumbersome. It's not, um, it's heavy and it's just really long. This is definitely not one of my favorite fountain pens. Not bad if you like thin, heavy, um, heavier fountain pens. It is aluminum, so it's not as heavy as a brass design would be, but it is, um, it is heavier than most and it's heavier than you'd expect looking at it. Um, I guess I can give you a writing sample. It takes, one thing I don't like is it also takes nine rotations to get the cap off, seven to get it on, or it could be vice versa. It could be nine and, or seven and nine. I can't remember. I actually counted to do the written review on my website at bestfountainpen.com, but it uh, slows me down for sure. Let's do a writing sample here. This is on Claire Fontaine uh, 90 gram paper. And this is the broad nib. Forget that. Um, Quaco special using um, Quaco red ink um, in the bottle. If you want to see a more detailed review of this pen, you can check it out on my website at bestfountainpen.com.